Hey out everyone, this is Mopop, this is the Asgard SMP, and welcome back to episode number four, where we are standing here in the spawn circle, taking a peek at the tree we built in last episode. If you've not seen that episode, go ahead back and check that out, because this was a super fun build. Really uncomfortable building style for me, because I do not do naturals very often, especially not trees like this, and especially not to this size. So lots of fun experiences going on there brand new stuff that I have not previously played with and it was just really enjoyable to mess around with that and try to come up with something that you know what in the end I am actually super happy with and not only did we do that in last episode but we prepared the central building to expand on it which is what we are going to do in today's episode here we've got these front pillars going on and we did the tower there and the tower here as well again super happy with these we are starting to do the interior of the build pretty much for the first time here and seeing this all come together is absolutely awesome because if you take a peek inside of the main building here and we look up that is an absolute mess and that is what the rest of the inside of this build looked like so to have it look something like this now even though we don't have any decorations we at least have clean walls and that is so so much better so let's take a look at what we have planned for today's episode here uh, as i said we were just standing in the main building there and now that 1.20 is out and we have access to the new awesome bookshelves this expansion over here on the side that we have not yet built is going to be the library so we're going to start off by modifying this footprint a little bit so that i'm perfectly happy with it before starting to build it up and then we have to figure out how we're going to blend this building into this building so that we can actually finish the inside of this because i don't want to just like start doing the inside of this and then have it basically done but have this big gaping hole in the side there so uh, we just want to blend those two together probably easier said than done let's be real here okay so i probably went just a little bit overboard here i wanted to figure out how to connect the two buildings so i just went ahead and built the majority of the next building uh yeah here we go so i am happy with how this turned out it is always a fun challenge to build on the diagonal oh, where's my mouse there we go uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it from the inside, though, because that's kind of where the magic happens. Yeah, I haven't finished this yet. I don't know what's going to go on next. There's going to be some circular building over there, so we will figure out what the rest of that building is going to look like when I know what the circular building looks like. But here's the inside now. Uh, we did all that work of building that side of the building and a little bit of this side uh, just to figure out how it's going to blend in over here. And yeah, my brain works absolutely ridiculously. That was in my mind, a necessary step in order to figure these two out. And I think for supplying a smooth transition, uh, that was probably worth uh, the time and effort because, oh boy, that was a lot of effort. It was a lot of resource gathering. I am absolutely blowing through blocks, uh, but it is a little bit dark in here. So maybe it's a little tough to see, uh, but we have this big archway uh, right here on the diagonal. And we have now these pillars that are kind of in the same style as the pillars that we had before. They're a little bit bigger and they're on the diagonal but that should give us a nice lead into the next room and they're not totally done yet i gotta texture them up i'm gonna add some blocks up here add some lights on them because they are way too dark as it goes and it just needs a little bit of texture like the basalt blocks and some of the cracked bricks in there as well but that at least tells me where these pillars are going to go so i've started coming out and putting some extra shapes around the room here trying to just draw a line to the floor again this is how my brain works it's a little bit odd but i'm just trying to draw some general shapes and then just slowly fill in uh, the gaps here and I will probably completely bounce around we're gonna jump into a time-lapse here in a moment and I'll probably start up there and then bounce around maybe up there and it's just gonna be all over the place but what I'm thinking is pillar here pillar there same style as these kind of matching that same thing over here these are not parallel they are shifted and I think that's actually good because it'll just add a little bit uh, more dynamics to the room here so this pillar here is going to line up actually with the center point between those two and then this one is equally distanced such that the distance between those two is the same as the distance between these two and then i did mention that this was going to act as a storage room although i did add, uh, actually play with the idea of digging this out and putting a separate storage room under here and just making this like the grand hall i suppose i could still do that in the future because i'm not going to do a ton of work on a storage room in here uh, maybe we could do like an auto sorting system down there at some point but i need something that is better than what i have now so we will have a big chest array right there and a big chest array right here and we'll probably do some kind of balcony above it i just really want to fill as much of this room as possible without making it feel really overbearing and still want to maintain some of that open feel
Okay, so we've gone a little bit further since what you have seen in the time lapse. I'm standing up on that rounded part that came out, and as you'll see, we've got a couple of pillars going up. I need to figure out exactly what's going to go on with the roof before we fully connect those in. Uh, but I do know that this is how the base is going to start, and I'll probably put like a garden or something up here. Uh, in order to not make it look totally ugly or just kind of blank. And then I've got a different idea for what's going to go on with these down here. They're kind of built in the same spirit where we have the pillars coming up. Uh, although I did do these out of wood and we got the rails going across here. I do have, like I said, a different idea for what's going on here. I think that'll be pretty cool. We might get that to, to that today. We might not. I'm not quite sure. But look at that. That's a whole lot of chests. That is uh, four stacks of chests between that side and this side which was a lot of chests. But anyway, uh, I don't think I'll be needing any more storage this season, which is, I guess, nice, but I'm sure I'm still going to end up doing it at some point anyway because I just cannot be stopped. But anyway, if we take a look at the pillars going up the sides here, we've got some texturing blocks in there. We've got the smooth salt and the cracked deep slate bricks. We did exactly the same thing on the pillars that lead you into the next building over. And then a couple of lights in there as well. And while I was doing that, I noticed something odd. This wall isn't exactly where it should be. And if I go ahead and take a peek at the side here, we see that the deep slate line is going up back here. We come in one block and then there's the granite wall. And if we look over here, almost fell off the side there. We have the granite wall coming in and then it's flush with the deep slate. And rather than pushing this back, which felt like a little bit better because I don't necessarily love how they are flush like that. Um, that's not feasible for that side. It is feasible for this side, though, to push it back and make these two flush. And if I go ahead and use free cam here and come to the outside, uh, you can see right there it, it dips in one block, and then the equal part on the other side, it is completely flush. So in order to keep those the same, I will be bringing this one chunk of wall. This is the only slice that's off, which is good because I don't want to redo a whole section of the building. Uh, I just got to bring it out one block toward where I currently am, which isn't terrible. And it will not only look better on the inside, um, just because of the parity to the other side and that level of symmetry in there. Uh, if we go ahead and look at the building that we are lined up against, let's try to get right in the center of this block and go up, 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 up. We are one to the right of center. So I don't know how that happened. I would like to be center with that to make that uh, completely symmetrical. So quick fix there. And then on to the nightmare of a roof that's going to be a whole lot of up and down with scaffolding and it's just going to be an absolute pain. So don't expect to see that in a time lapse because that is going to take forever. Okay, so switching gears just a little bit here, we have an awesome data pack on a server that allows us to do some trickery with resource packs and add in some custom items. So I found this sprite on Pinterest of a whole bunch of different um, battle items, combat items. We have some axes in here. We have some daggers, some swords, and I'd like to import some of these. Um, I've already gone through and selected which ones I want, and I will be sure to link the original artist to these down below if you'd like to check them out yourself. Um, but I am looking for eight of them that I would like to use in this front hall here. So we've got one here, which is, which one is that? I think that's the spider? No, this looks like the undead sword. Uh, so that's this one. It was quite a bit bigger, right? So if I go ahead and make a selection here, I'll zoom in a bit. Um, actually, I don't even need to make a selection. We can just see how many pixels are actually in here. So we need a 16 by 16 uh, in order to make it look correct uh, for the rest of the texture pack, right? Uh, Minecraft textures are 16 by 16. So this is obviously quite a bit too big. Maybe I could leave it like this, but I think just like performance reasons, um, it'd probably be better to scale it down. So I went ahead and pulled that out into its own file here and then um, modified it up so that it still looks kind of like a sword. Now, I didn't maintain all the detail, obviously. Uh, there's going to be a lot more detail here because it just has more pixels. So this is about as close as it comes, and I went and did that for a bunch of them. So we've got this one in here, which was one of these here. I think it's the Raider Axe, so, um, which one we want here. So I could probably actually, now that I'm looking at this, probably go through and delete a couple more of these pixels and make it look a little bit more Axe-like. Let's see, one, two... Is that right? I would have to be getting rid of those. Something doesn't math here. That looks almost right. I think we've got to go back there and delete that. That looks almost more right. You could probably do the same thing toward the top here, right? So that would be uh, those two and that one. And yeah, maybe over at it, just do those and just kind of round it off a bit. That was a little bit better. It's not perfect. Um, it's okay though. Um, I'm totally okay with that. I think these poking down there also look a little bit odd. Hmm. Better like that? 
probably better like that. Um, so I'll probably play with these up a little bit more yet before uh, actually bring them into the game. But as we go through here, you can see there's a whole bunch of them. I don't want to spoil them all at the moment. This one was a little hard to do. There's just a lot of coloring going on. Uh, this one here, I think, came out pretty well. Um, but yeah, there's a few of them. This one's a mess. I, I definitely have to keep playing with that one a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's a whole selection in here of things that I need to pull in. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up and see what that looks like with a whole bunch of armor stands holding these guys here. Oh man, look at that. That is super, super neat. I am absolutely in love with this. There is the axe we were just working on, as well as a couple of these other swords here. There's one of them. I think we looked at that one. We got this thing in there. That looks super cool. I cleaned that one up quite a bit, I think, from where y'all last saw it. Um, that one also pretty solid, uh, kind of matches the skin tone. I'm not sure if I quite love that, um, but if we go ahead down here, um, let's take a look at the other four as well, because these guys have some as well. And I've just used uh, some random mob heads to fill in these armor stands and they're just kind of overlooking um, the central hall here. But if we take a look uh, at this one, um, that center might be a little fat, didn't anticipate it looking that goofy but i'm happy with it for now um the site that i guess is kind of backward but it still looks super cool that might actually be my favorite it's close between that one and the axe uh, but this one is super neat as well i love the little bits of red in there with the green and then that one also the red outline to the silver sword i think just turned out super cool and i love that it's also not uh symmetrical that was uh, an aspect of the original design. That's actually why I chose it. Um, just, it looks a little bit more custom, a little bit more rugged, and I'm super, super happy with it. So once again, a link to the original sprite will be down in the description below. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. Also in the description, you can find a link to the design of this dragon head. I'm gonna use free cam for this. I think it'll be a little bit easier to see here. Uh, so I found this one on YouTube. That looks super awesome so i modified it ever so slightly from the link that you'll find down below but it is a dragon head it was initially a fountain but i wanted something to hold the dragon egg and then i don't remember if the eyes were glowing before or not or if i modified that up i remember changing some some stuff in the middle here um, and changing up the horns just a little bit but yeah that looks super cool i'm so happy with that we've done that on both sides here and then added some tables in so i'm pretty much uh, added everything into the hall that I wanted to add here. We've bumped out these pillars a little bit too. I don't remember quite everything now. It's been a couple days uh, since I last recorded, but my storage is all in now. Everything's pretty well sorted up. I've got blocks on the left here, kind of sorted by category, right? We've got like um, dirts here, then some stones, then some random earth blocks, and then woods, and then nether and end items. And over here, everything's kind of sorted as well, right? We've got like mining stuff, farming stuff, uh, fish, a couple random items, mob drops, and then some player heads over on the right. So, so much going on in here. A couple big banners. I'm very, very happy with this uh, so far. I think we will add some more detail in the future. I don't think that we uh, will be ending it with this. I think that there um, certainly could be more to add. Man, that ceiling took forever <laughs> looking back at that. Um, but one last thing to point out here. Well, I guess there's the throne, which we haven't mentioned yet, but um, that will house custom music underneath it it doesn't actually yet i don't know if it wired up but i'm thinking like maybe like the game of thrones theme or something could go um pretty well right there but if we stand here on the throne and we look up we've also got a custom garden up there so i didn't want access to it but i wanted something going on so that it didn't just look super empty and i wanted it to be different from these so i didn't just want to put more armor stands up there um so filling it up with the garden actually totally works and at night uh it glows uh, pretty nicely which i'm again just so happy with but yeah take a look around we in the next episode will be branching off in that direction doing some more building getting another building done probably another tower right there and then starting in on a library hopefully i say hopefully that is the plan at the moment um but yeah let's go free cam one more time and just take a look at this thing as a whole it is huge it is absolutely huge and i'm so happy that we uh, were able to get through that today so anyway Hopefully, y'all have enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe for more, and I'll see y'all next time.